next is excel file so excel file in today's time most of our data is generally created in either excel sheets or google sheets so what what happens is you cannot do large analysis in excel files or google files for that r is very helpful and it is very easy to import the data from excel files and uh, the command that we are using is read.xli6 and this command is in the package name as excel sx that we will be installing so what you can do is uh, as i have already told you how to install the package so in uh, either you can go to packages and install the package from here by typing the name of the package that is ls xlsx and install or you can type the command that is install dot package i have already installed this file so i am not installing it again but you will always have to load the package before you want to use function of that package so for that i am executing the command library xlsx now what happened is my library my package is loaded in my uh, session i am creating a variable excel here and the command i am using is read dot excel sx so what i am doing is i am reading a excel file the file name that is test dot one test one i have already saved this file as a excel file you can see here in the files i have already saved it and after that the uh, comma the next tab is sheet index so sheet index what does it tell there are multiple sheet in excel files you can create multiple sheets and you can specify the number for that so i want only first sheets uh, values here to be read so i am taking one here and i am executing this command now let's run this excel sheet and you can see my values are saved in this i have taken very small data set here there can be n number of rows and columns it will be very easy for you to run this command and load the data into r and do further analysis analysis for that what you can also do is sometimes what happens there are so many sheets and you have given a sheet name to the file the command you can use here is like i have uh, same i have given sheet index as 1 and also i have mentioned the name of that sheet suppose i have given the name of the sheet as data underscore t so you can mention the name so that it can be easily loaded and there is no confusion also what you can do is if you don't want to write big formula or big function you can remove sheet index and you can simply type 2 or 1 whatever your sheet number is you can type here and it will automatically load that sheet in r so what are the other formats you can also uh, in import the data through excel similar uh, like we have imported the data of text file i'm going to import data in environment and we can uh, select from excel here so you will have to give the file url so how can you browse that just browse i have easily um, got my names of the sheets i have here microsoft worksheet that i want i will open it now you can see i have url and the data preview you can specify the sheet number that you want i have only one here, one sheet here so it is not showing other file name but if there were multiple uh, sheets in that uh, excel file it would have shown you can give the range from which cell to which cell you want the data to be taken and you can import it so you can see it has imported into our data set next the last way we are importing the data is google sheets google sheets are used in today's time in very much it is very useful and very it is very helpful as multiple people can collaborate the data into it at same time across the locations so we can directly import the data from google sheets using the package g sheets we can install the package and use its functions but there is a um, can say disadvantage of using g sheets that you have to make your file publicly available so sometimes it becomes a issue so come let's go to r and run the codes so for in uh, using g sheet the library i am using is g sheet and uh, you can similarly 
install the package from packages either from packages or you can give the command install dot package g sheet i am loading the package into my session now how will you create this file what we will do is we will create a file on google sheet so what we are doing is we are creating a google sheet it is the simplest way like you go to google drive add a sheet and uh, i have taken same values roll number name age gender now what we will do is there is an option here share how you uh, with whom you want to share the file so what we'll do is go to advanced and you can see anyone with this link has been chosen here so what you have to do is you have to choose pub public on the web so so that anyone on the internet can access this and they do not require any sign in for that so i am selecting the file save it and done now what we'll do is we'll take the url from this and we are going to paste it here so what i am doing is i am creating a variable with this file name and i'll save it now what i'm uh, next step is i am using a function from this g sheet package and the name of the, uh, the function is the as dot data dot bring so what it is saying is i want to create a sheet of values in the form of data frame it is a data structure type within the brackets i am saying g sheet to tbl that is table so i am converting a g sheet into a table format and i am giving the url value here so let's run this command now let's check the data abc so you can see we, what we have done is we have created a google sheet on online now we have that values that data into r easily through the use of package called G sheet.